Hello guys, today we have a controller kit that was sent in to us by Banggood.com and what we'll hopefully be able to do is get it assembled, hook it up to one of our Arduino systems and maybe be able to control some of our RC vehicles with it. So as far as I'm aware, it's not a kit that is designed to be radio controlled. I think this kit is really maybe intended to be like a games controller or something like that because I don't think there is a, a chip for communication like a, a radio a transceiver or a transmitter or receiver so I think we basically have uh, the makings of a controller without really an interface uh, to the outside world well unless you call maybe a uh, UART it might, might be uh, maybe there's a method of like controlling something via UART because I know there's a, a little cable here or a little connector that's like a headphone jack so we'll have to find out what the idea is for that so with PCB you know, it looks pretty good I mean not sure where the battery pack bolts on but I, I presume it's something like that and you're going to you know it's kind of the right size for for your hand um, yeah, there's not much to it, everything's kind of connected. We have plenty of controls. We have two joysticks. Uh, this one I noticed doesn't have a spring, so um, don't worry. The spring the springs obviously built into it internally. So, normally, when you get these things, they bounce from or they spring back from uh, the different directions. But this one has a, a well, a non return, I suppose. Um, action on one of the axes so that means it's kind of like a RC airplane uh, controller for example so you might this might be your throttle and you'd throttle up for full power maybe for flying or takeoff something like that and you can just board to the level you want I'm not sure how well that's gonna work for us to be honest because usually we have forward for driving forward and backwards for driving backwards or reversing so that might not be the best for us We'll, uh, we'll try it out anyway and see how it works out. That one has uh, return springs on, on both axes. Uh, you also have, looks like a potentiometer. So just a simple little potentiometer there. On my controllers uh, we had an encoder. So that's just a, an alternative way of doing it. And by the way these joysticks these are potentiometers on the sides of these, sort of just variable resistors that change resistance between these three points as you move them back and forward. So that's how they, how they work. Um, uh, you make a voltage divider with those resistors coming out of that uh, potentiometer. That's how you get a change in the voltage which you can read. So we have the little cap for the top of the potentiometer. That's a little uh, piezoelectric buzzer, some bits of header, a couple of little dip switches, or just uh, just little tactile switches. Slide switch, so that's going to be for power. Then that's the little headphone jack that I was talking about. You have a dip switch. Well, that's pretty much it. We have this little, uh, oh we actually got an Arduino with it. So this is an Arduino Pro Mini and it even has the header so you don't even have to solder this uh, Arduino Pro Mini in permanently you can uh, unplug it and plug it back in so that's pretty perfect but like I say there's no radio on this system so it's basically going to be control we need to figure out what the pinout is for this headphone jack maybe it's the UART connection but whatever it is I'm sure it's going to give us some way of communicating outside of the chip so probably the best thing to do is assemble it and then we can figure out uh, what the different pins are going to actually do.
Okay, so there we go. It's pretty much assembled. Uh, I just have this battery pack. I'm not sure why they have this cable tie on it really. Possibly it's to hold the batteries in, but yeah, I'm not really sure it's necessary. Uh, you also need to uh, like hot snot this to the back, so glue it on the back. So you basically have your forward and reverse is non-returnable, as I said. Then spring-loaded uh, for three axes in the joysticks. You have this potentiometer here, you have one buzzer, four little dip switches, you have an on off here, you have another little switch up the top here, which I think is just going to a couple of pins on the chip, so it's just another control switch, kind of like the dip. Then you have your four push buttons as well, and that's pretty much it. These joysticks, by the way, don't have push buttons in the middle. Uh, like say the joysticks on my controllers, they, these are just these are just the, the two axes, no push buttons on these. Uh, this little connector here, I looked it up, that is for uh, a PPM output, which it says is usable with like training programs for flying RC vehicles. So I guess that's what that there uh, is kind of useful for. So that's the controller. You'd normally put an Arduino on top of it, so it would probably like that there and we were supplied with an Arduino Pro Mini that just about fits in front of that actually but anyway I don't plan to use this controller or this Arduino the reason for that is I'm gonna have to add a radio onto it anyway so I might as well just make an adapter and plug one of my uh, control boards in here so we straight away have the radio and uh, that saved me a wee bit of time because even if I plug this in and start programming it, I'm still going to have to wire it up to an NRF for us to use it. So I might as well just skip that process and just uh, wire up an adapter board that will connect this. This is basically one of these uh, Arduino Pro Minis anyway. So it's just one of these with an NRF uh, radio module wired to it. So we need that to communicate with our vehicles. So I'm just going to make a little adapter board so I can plug it in there, plug this module in on top. And then we should be able to control so that's all i'm going to do in this uh, video i'm going to make up this adapter board before the next video and we should be able to just kind of test it out and i'll show you what way i've programmed it up and stuff like that so if you like this controller uh, you can get your own this one came from banggood uh, it was around eight euros and uh, you know like the build quality seems all right it was a uh, simple enough kit to put together i'd say it took maybe 10 or 15 minutes and uh, you even had your arduino with uh, with the kit if you you know if you wanted to use that so yeah look looks all right these buttons are a little bit awkward because uh, you're going from your joystick you have to go down there but it's not too bad if you had this thing on underneath it then it gets a wee bit worse but when it's just the single pcb it's actually not the worst like uh, so control wise it's all right like it's all kind of compressed down to the the small form factor so they had to make a wee bit of sacrifice to get everything on there but i, I think it's pretty good so if you like the video make sure and hit the thumbs up button and if you have any comments and suggestions let me know below the video and uh, yep yeah, that's pretty much it so thanks very much for watching